What is up you guys? It's your girl Nicole Faye and welcome back to another Juicy Fat video. As you guys can see by the title, we are talking about my journey on being on natural birth control. <laughs> I am so excited to talk about this topic, you guys, okay? I have been savoring this topic for the past three months, you know, ever since I started my whole natural journey because I wanted to see if it worked or not, okay? Because I would have been embarrassing if I started this natural journey and I talked about it as soon as I got on it and I got pregnant. <laughs> so I've been doing good. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> but like I said, I have been so excited to talk about just how much my life has changed and how transformed I feel ever since I got off birth control at the beginning of the year. So like I said, I have been saving this video. So if you are watching this video right now, then you clearly are interested in me because you love me and I love you. But also you're probably interested in getting off birth control and want to start a natural, want to start a natural birth control. So let me help you out, girl, because I'm about to give you my tips and just like my advice and my experience on just this whole transition and how it has changed my life. So hopefully I can help you and get you off birth control because that shit is trash. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off talking about how long I've been on birth control and why I decided to get off and start tracking my cycle naturally. So I have been on and off the birth control pill for the past 14 years. Yes, you heard me, okay? 14 long consecutive years, okay? Just joking, not consecutive. It's been on and off the past 14 years, but yes. I lost my virginity at 15, yes I did. <clears throat> Wouldn't advise that. And my mother was like, um, you're not about to come in here with a baby, okay? If you're gonna go do that, then you need to be protected, okay? Period, I agree. Like I said, I've been on and off for the past 14 years and I've always did the pill. So yeah, it, it's been a long journey, but I've never had an issue with the pill. Like anytime anybody would ever ask me about recommendations about birth control, like back in the day, I would always be like, oh my gosh, get on the pill, because it was the best. I was always scared of the shot, you know, <laughs> I've heard too many bad things about the shot and the IUD that go up you, absolutely not, okay? No! I've heard horror stories about the IUD. So the pill was like my best friend. Like I really, really did enjoy the pill and I had no issues until last year, okay? Last year, I started to notice that I started to get really, really depressed. I've been depressed before in my life, but not consecutively like that. Like it was like consistent depression. I always noticed a week before my period, even though I know that as a part of PMS that you naturally do two weeks or a week before your period, kind of get a little flustered, you know? The cereal is not in the right place in the cabinet, you know, it kind of rattles your feathers, but mm -mm. It was some in the water because I was too depressed. Like it was every month I was just like wanting to put like, you know, like it was, it was bad. It was bad. Every month I noticed that my mood was just completely off and I was just crying hysterically, really, you know, the S word. And I was just, it was bad. I was going through things last year, but not to the point where I should have been thinking about blowing my head off. Okay. It was never that deep what I was going through last year. Okay. So I knew something was off because I know my body and I've never had a problem like this before. So that was another thing that was weird. And why I think it took me so long for me to realize that it was probably my birth control. Never had that issue. Like I was even bringing it up in therapy to my therapist and she was like, oh yeah, you should probably get your hormones checked. So I went to the doctor, I got my hormones checked and everything came back clear. So I'm like, okay, what the fuck? You know, something is wrong. All right, I've heard of birth control affecting your mood and making you depressed before. I have had friends and family members that have complained about that. So I'm like, okay, like towards the end of last year, like towards the fall, I'm like, okay, maybe it's my birth control. And it was such a coincidence that for some reason I was kind of already thinking about getting off as well for some reason. Now I'm not trying to get pregnant, absolutely not. Okay, I'm not trying to get pregnant right now. Do I want children? Yes, I want to, but not right now, okay? I'm just, I'm not ready, all right? But like I said, I was already thinking about getting off last year just for some reason like I think I was just kind of sick of just being responsible and having to take that pill every morning okay I've been doing it for 14 years okay get me out of jail okay I'm ready to be released when is my parole you know so <laughs> I was already thinking about it so I was like you know what 2024 I'm gonna take the leap of faith and get off, okay? Because, and I just wanna see. I just wanna see if I get off, is it going to change my mood? Is it going to to fix something, okay? So I took my last pill, I think the first or second week of January, and then I stopped. And I've been tracking my cycle naturally ever since, and oh my gosh, it was the pill. It was the pill. I was right, it was the pill. And Ever since I have got off, I have felt so much better. But isn't that weird that like all last year, like out of all these years I've been on birth control, all of a sudden I'm just like dreadfully depressed. 
crazy. And like I said, it's been three months since I've been off and it has just been beautiful. Now, don't get me wrong. I still have my ups and downs, but not like I was like, like I was having last year. Like it was like clockwork crazy. Okay, so now that you got the gist of my birth control experience and why I decided to get off, let's talk about how I track my cycle naturally. All right, so in the beginning of the year, in January, when I was finishing up my last pack, that's when I decided, okay, we gotta do something, okay? We can't just be raw dog in life if we're about to get off birth control, okay? We gotta do something, all right? So that's when I started to do my research on how to track your cycle naturally. Now, mind you, I've heard of this method before and I heard that it's very effective, but I was always scared to do it because I just didn't trust myself, okay? The birth control pill has always been my safety net and my comfort zone. And mind you, I've heard of non-hormonal birth control before, but I I think I was just ready just to get off the pill just in general. I think I was just sick of taking medications. So I did want to go that route. So I'm like, okay, we're going to track it naturally and I'm going to trust myself and we're going to be responsible and I'm going to take control of my body this year. Okay. All right. All right. So when I decided to do that, you know how the universe works. All right. As soon as you put something out in the universe, the internet hears you. All right. Because when I tell you, I started to get so many ads from different apps like the Flow app, Natural Cycles and other apps that help you track your cycle. I was like, oh my gosh, maybe this is God telling me I'm making a, I'm going in the right direction. All right now. So I did my research and I decided to go with the Natural Cycles app. Basically the Natural Cycles app works just like the Flow app, but the Natural Cycles app, you can actually add your temperature and I believe the flow app you can't don't quote me on that though I'm not sure but I decided to go with the natural cycles app because that was the number one app I just kept seeing on my feed of just ads and just people talking about their experience on it and all I kept hearing good reviews so basically what the natural cycle app is it basically tracks your temperature through your basal temperature in the morning when you wake up by either a basal thermometer a or ring or apple watch so those are the three methods you can use to track your temperature that the app will allow you to track your temperature with and basically in the morning when you log in your temperature the algorithm lets you know if you're ovulating or not but giving you red or green days so it basically like I said the same system System of the flow app is just you log your temperature in with this one so like I said I kept hearing good reviews with the natural cycles app so I was like okay you know I think I'm gonna download the natural cycles app I think I'm gonna do that one all right and I decided to track uh, my temperature using the or ring because a lot of girls when they were talking about the app they also had the ring and the or ring is what helped them track their temperature now the Aura Ring is optional because the Aura Rings is expensive, okay? I pay like $500 for this ring and I don't regret the Aura Ring because it, it does a lot. I really do like the Aura Ring. But if I would have knew that Natural Cycles will send you a basal thermometer if you don't want to use your Apple Watch or Aura Ring, okay? So you do not have to go buy something else, okay? I wish I would have knew that because I would have never bought an Aura Ring if I just would have got the thermometer from Natural Cycles. But anyway, we're here now, so and I can't return it because it's been 60 days, so whatever. But I do like my Aura Ring. Like, it does a lot. Like, it, it tracks your sleep, uh, uh, your temperature while you're asleep. It tracks your stress levels. It tracks your heart rate. It tracks your blood cells. Um, it tracks your calories. You can even log your period in the OR app. It does a lot. The OR app, it syncs to the Natural Cycles app. Like, it does that. So that's why I decided to get it. Like I said, I really do love my aura ring, but if I knew what I knew now, I just would have got the basal thermometer. So just get the basal thermometer, okay? But I really love the app. So I end up downloading the app and I actually want to show you guys the app and like how it works and things of that nature and how I use it. So basically it is a fee that you have to pay for the app. I did the annual fee. I believe the annual fee is no no greater than like $100. So I did the annual fee and I think the monthly fee is like 12 or 15. Don't quote me on that though. I don't know. So I'm going to screen record for you guys and have like the app pulled up right here so you guys can see and follow along with me. But yes, this is the app. So today I am red, okay? You see in big and bold, it says use protection, all right? So I am red today my temperature is 96.87. Um, so yeah, this, this is the today, the home page of it. Basically it gives you a graph, ovulation prediction. It tells you what cycle phase you're in. And I really like that. Like I didn't even know about cycle phases until I downloaded this app. So I love that it tells me that I'm in my ovulation window it uh also wants you to log in like your symptoms and moods how you feel throughout the day so if you go into this area this is where you will log it in in the morning so you have to tell if you're sick or hungover if you're hungover they're gonna exit out 
because when you're hungover, your heart rate goes up and down as you sleep. So it doesn't give an accurate basal temperature in the morning. So it, it'll exit out for you. All right, because I'm hungover a lot, okay? I've missed a lot of days because I was hungover. All right, so you put in here when you're bleeding or spotting, if you've had any vaginal sex, any other type of sex you've had, your LH test, which basically is your ovulation test. I track my cervical mucus. It tracks your sex drive, your skin, pains and symptoms. They also want to know how you're feeling and things of that nature. So I like to track in all of that. And it also, like I said, it gives you the red or green days. I have had a couple green days, so it's been really good, you know? So that is basically how the app, it gives you messages. And then it also has an area where they teach you different things like guides, quizzes and definitions and research and stuff that they do. So it's a really nice app. I really, I really with it. I really like it. So I like I said, I've been doing that for the past like three months and it, it really has been working. When I have red days, you're supposed to use a condom. Okay, I use a condom. And when it's green days, I withdraw. Okay, look it up. All right. Yeah, so it's a pretty simple app. And I have really been liking it. And it is, it's worked well for me. Now, I have the pros and cons of the app. Okay, so a pro of the app is, like I said, that it's really efficient. I, like I said, I've been holding on doing this topic for like three months now because trusting an app, putting your life into an app's hands, to an algorithm's hands is crazy, okay? And I was like, oh my gosh, like what if I become pregnant because I'm over here trusting an app with my life? Like that's kind of crazy, all right? Let, let's just be f***ing for real. But I have had a really good experience on it and it's so easy to track and learn on it. So that's the pro of it. The con of it is the risk of and nothing is 100% and you can't be pregnant. It's not as effective, effective as birth control. Well, birth control is not even 100%, so I can't even say that, okay? Everything is not 100%, all right? But it is a big risk. When I was doing my research, a lot of people were saying that um, the app is basically for women who definitely want to prevent pregnancy right now, but wouldn't mind a oopsie. You know, so that is something you do have to keep in mind that it's not birth control, but it is, it's not that effective, but it is effective. You know what I'm saying? So that's the pro and con of it. Another con of it is if you are tracking it through your Apple Watch or your Oura Ring, it's going to take a while for it to sync to the app. Like, I don't know, for some reason when I, when I wake up in the morning and I sync my Natural Cycles app to the Oura Ring, it takes a while for the Natural Cycles app to determine my temperature. Like it takes hours. Like I'm not even joking, it takes hours. And then it eventually does it, but it takes hours. So that's another thing I saw, I'm like, damn, you know, it's kind of crazy. You know, what if I just decided to raw dog life today and it finally sinks to my temperature and I see I'm red and I'm not green, you know? <laughs> I would be in trouble. But I have been doing really well. I've had a full cycle on it. it. It has done a really good job at estimating when my period comes. Like it has been on the money for the past two months, it has been, I mean, for the past three months, it has been on the money. Now, the only thing I could say is if you have irregular periods or like POS, not, did I say that right, POS? I don't know if it would work for you. You have to do your research on that and maybe talk to your doctor because um, I don't have irregular periods. So that's another thing too. Like if you have irregular periods, I don't know how that will work with tracking it on the app, but I'm sure you can do it. It's just that I don't know how that'll work for you, but I have regular periods. So my period has been coming every single month. I haven't had a problem with like my period or anything ever since I've got off it. And the app has been on the money on tracking or predicting when my period is gonna come like right on time like clockwork it's crazy it's crazy it's really it's really effective like I really like it I haven't had any issues you know now that I have been off for the past three months on birth control I have not had those depression episodes or those mood swings like I was having all last year like it has been really really transformative like I feel so much better like I feel so much better that it kind of makes me sad that I was dealing with that for so long you know, when I think about it, like it kind of makes me sad that I was putting myself through that for so long, that I was just that depressed for so long and I didn't know what it was, you know? Like, cause ever since I've got off, like I actually feel like I can fucking breathe for some reason. Like it is so weird, but I'm not getting back on that ever again, okay? I, it's, a, it's a done deal for me. I am out of jail. I've been in jail for 14 years on and off. I am not a criminal anymore, okay? I am a free man. I haven't noticed any body changes either. You know how like when you get off birth control, like you have body or skin changes. Now I heard that 
you have to be off birth control consecutively for like six months to really see any skin or body changes. But for right now, it's just been three. And for the past three months, it's been fine. I haven't, I've gotten a few little knickknackers over on my cheeks. I usually don't get acne on my cheeks. So I have been seeing acne like appearing on my cheeks, but not that bad. It hasn't been that bad. No body changes. I do feel like I lost a little weight, but nothing too crazy, nothing too crazy. I also do Pilates as well. So that could be covered from Pilates, but I haven't noticed any real changes physically, just mentally it's been a breakthrough like such a relief like like I said I still go through my stresses here and there like I'm not doing too well right now you know you know <laughs> but I don't want to blow my f***ing head off thank god all right so <laughs> I've been doing really well it's been it's been such a breath of fresh air. So to conclude it all, I highly do recommend, like I said, if you want to get off birth control, girl, get off of it, okay? It's sad that the only option women have to prevent pregnancy is birth control. You know, I, it's sad that that's the only thing doctors recommend. I really feel like knowing your cycle phases and tracking your cycles should be something you should learn in school. Like that should be something that women should learn about, but... <sighs> We don't, unfortunately. I'm so glad I took a leap of faith and I decided to do this this year. Like I said, it has really transformed my life and it's just only been three months. So I can't imagine how the rest of these months are gonna go while this birth control is wearing out of my system, okay? Because I have been doing really well. So if you are thinking about getting off birth control and tracking your cycle naturally, please do it. Please, okay? I beg you, you are going to love it. You are going to enjoy it. It has been, it has been the best thing. And that concludes today's video, okay? I hope you enjoyed this little chit chatty video about just my journey and experience with birth control and tracking my cycle naturally. Like I said, I've been really excited to talk about this because it has just been such a breakthrough, but I had to make sure it was effective first, okay? Before I opened my mouth and I ended up pregnant. All right, so still wish me the best because I do not want to be pregnant right now. But like I said, I highly do recommend you checking out and doing your research on how to track your cycle naturally and downloading one of the apps. Like it don't even have to be natural cycles. Like you could do flow because I heard flow is just as effective as well, but you just can't track your temperature, I think. So yeah, just do something. Get off that birth control girl okay for years i've always been advocated for birth control and i still am you know everybody's body is different and everybody experiences birth control differently so if birth control has been working for you and you don't want to get off don't okay there's no reason for you to but if you do want to get off and you've been scared about tracking your cycle naturally and you just don't know what avenue to go down girl i hope i helped you okay definitely check out these apps because these apps be working okay just 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 be mindful that it's it's not perfect all right, all right now. All right, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Comment down below if you guys are tracking your cycle naturally. What apps do you guys use in your experience on birth control? Don't forget to subscribe, follow my social medias, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.